Hello everybody and welcome to Assault Android Cactus. What is Assault Android Cactus? Well, to me it sounds like those English class assignments you got in high school where you pick three random words out of a hat and had to write a story based on those words as the title. That I cannot help but think about that when I see this. Uh, because, I mean, it just sounds like three words thrown together. Assault, Android, and Cactus. What the hell? But what is Assault Android Cactus? She is Assault Android Cactus. She's an android with an assault rifle named Cactus. So it works. Works great. And you can pick up Assault Android Cactus. Early access, by the way. I love how they actually just make it very, very clear that this is early access on Steam right now for about 15 bucks. And is it really... Should you do it? Because, I mean, early access, it, it's... People have been burned by early access before, and you gotta be careful with that. Now, is this game worth it? Well, I usually follow the philosophy that Nerd Cubed put forth, where... Is it worth it now? As it stands right now, because that's all you're guaranteed to get at the moment. And the answer to that question is yes. I believe it is very much worth the $15 to pick this game up in early access. Now, I also love how it says pre-alpha build. Like, it's not even alpha yet. Not even alpha? Okay, I've played this game for many, many hours, and I think it qualifies as at least beta. <laughs> anyway, so let's get started. And let's take a look at our menu real quick. We have the basic play. And you see there's no, like, load or continue or anything. It's just play. This is kind of like the old arcade games where you basically start and you pick a level. And then you, they just throw you in. And it's good. I like it. Then we have leaderboards, which shows us our friends, you know, how we compare against our friends. As you can see, I don't have any friends that play this game. We can do global, which I'm 147. And that's quite interesting. And what else? Yeah, just friends. My rank. And then you can do one player, two player mode, three player mode, and four player mode. Now this game is local multiplayer only, as far as I can tell. I haven't found a way to do online multiplayer, and they might implement it later. I don't know. But right now it's local multiplayer only, and that's... You know what? That's perfectly fine. It's always fun to get friends together to play games. Next, we have collections, which do nothing at the moment. I would assume that in later versions of this game, you'll unlock things. The codex will tell you the diff about the different baddies, art gallery, probably concept art and that kind of stuff, and extra settings. No idea what that is, and I can't click on it to find out, so we'll leave that as is. Options. We got video settings, which are incredibly basic. And we got the display mode, full screen, and windowed. That's it. No borderless window. But as I said in the previous video, I have absolutely no idea why anybody would need a borderless. We got resolution goes up to, let's find out. Does it go up to 1920 by 1080, 1920 by 1080, and then 640 by 480. 640 by 480. That still blows my mind that people do that. 640 by 4. Does anybody play these games on 640 by 480? It's like a freaking postage stamp on my screen, I swear. But you know me, I do 1280 by 720. That's just, you know, uh, 16 by 9. Yeah, 16 by 9. And it's good for YouTube. At least for me. Image quality. Highest, high, medium, low. That's it. Nothing else. No idea what it actually translates to. I leave it on highest, and it runs great. Now, I admit, I do have a pretty powerful gaming rig. But, I mean, it runs beautifully. And, I mean, right now, even rendering Cactus back here, I'm running at 320 frames per second. And I've just left my frame rate uncapped, even though we can leave it at capped. Um, I could set it to 60, which I had set it to 60 previously. Because, well, that's just... That's its default setting, and I didn't even realize it. Normally, when I have a frame rate capped, it gives me problems. Like, if I set a frame rate cap in Minecraft, woo, doggy, do I have problems. But in here, it's not actually a problem. 
but I left it as uncapped just because I wanted to see what it could do. And right now I'm recording, by the way, obviously, and I'm running at between 300 and 320 frames per second. That's just crazy. Then we got our audio settings, which is music volume, which is what you hear in the background. Not as intense as some games, but it fits perfectly with this game. Then we got our FX volume. Those are the beepy noises. Which, and the, the gun shooting and that kind of thing. Then we have voice volume, which only comes up, uh, well, it comes up a lot, but it's not uberly important. Uh, basically what it is, is it'll tell you like a battery's up and it'll tell you your power's up and that kind of thing. But like uh, in the, when it actually does dialogue in the game, there's no voiceovers, and that's okay. And we got speakers, we got stereo and mono. So not much in the way of changes there. And we got game settings, we got to change input, which I believe you can use the controller for as well. For this kind of game, I can't see why people would use the controller. I'd never be able to use the controller for this thing. It'd be far, far too slow. But I mean, it change input, click it, press any button. Yeah. Uh, as far as I can tell, you can't bind your keys or anything, but again, this is a pre-alpha build, so it might come up later, it might not, though that's always something that people like. Yeah. Uh, leaderboards. This is your default view of your leaderboards. You can do friends, you can do combined, you can do disabled, you can disable your leaderboards, which is always cool. And you can do global. I leave it at friends just because that's its default, and I don't really care about the leaderboards. Boss dialogue. That is the dialogue I was speaking about. You get a little tiny piece of the story before every boss fight, and you can actually play that or you can skip it. And that's it. Those are your two ch choices, and that's okay. Pro mode. Okay, this is the S plus indicator. S plus is a ranking, so they got a ranking system between, uh, well, non existent, uh, basically D and S plus. So we have D, C, B, A, S, S plus, you know, the standard ranking things and once you get s plus you get access to this setting which is the s plus indicator and it will tell you if you lose the possibility of getting s plus you have to keep up your combo and you can't die so this will tell you if you did that you can also set it to automatically restart the level if you lose the s plus so this is if you're going for score runs and stuff and then you can just disable it if you don't want to worry about it at all I, I personally like the S plus indicator. I leave it there, but I don't like the idea of auto restart myself. However, I can definitely see why people would use it, especially in certain situations if you're doing score runs. And then we have vibration. My keyboard doesn't vibrate. Yours might. Whatever. And then we have clear all scores and settings, which was probably a complete reset back to default. And no, I'm not touching that. And then we have the credits. Now, this, again, was made by Witchbeam. They don't seem to have a publisher. It doesn't, at least it doesn't say publisher on the Steam page. So apparently, Witchbeam is the developer and the publisher. And there appears to be a grand spanking total of three people. Which is freaking awesome. If three people made this game, that just... It makes me feel better about the gaming industry in general. Because this is an amazing game. I love this game. And of course, www.assaultandroidcactus.com. Yeah. And then we have quit, which I don't want to do because, well, I'm doing a video on this. So let's get started. We have our choices between campaign, endless battle, and boss rush. Endless battle and boss rush are disabled, but I can assume what they are. I mean, endless battle would obviously be wave upon wave upon wave of baddies. Boss rush would be just one boss right after the other, probably without re health regen which is cool i mean it's it's common that i see those kind of things in certain games but you know it's always cool to have them but of course we only have access to campaign because we are in pre-alpha build and then we get our android select so we have cactus here which has the assault rifle and her alternate weapon is the flamethrower powerful little bastard of a weapon but you have to get up close and i'm not good at that then we have Holly, who has a Seeker weapon, which is... You don't have to be accurate with this weapon because they home in. The only problem with the Seeker weapon is they home in on 
pretty much whenever they want to. So you can't guarantee that you'll be firing at a specific enemy because it might be firing over here even though you're pointing this way. And her secondary weapon is Cannonball, and that is a powerful, powerful attack. You fire it off and it goes through enemies. So you could just take out a line of enemies. I usually play as Holly because I'm not good with accurate, and I really like her seeker weapon. Then we have Lemon, who has a spread shot and a rocket. The rockets are kind of homing, and you can fire off like three of them. Powerful little things. Not a fan of them, though. And the spread shot, I think... I can see why people would use the spread shot, but I think the spread shot spreads the power a little bit too much. So I don't play as Lemon all that often. Then we have Coral, who has a shotgun. High power, widespread, so you have to be up close to actually use the high power. Slow fire rate. Very slow fire rate. I think I played as Coral once, died in five seconds, and haven't gone back. Might be the android for you, not the android for me. Uh, I don't even think I had a chance to play with her plasma field, though I might have. I don't remember, really. Like I said, I don't play as Coral. Then we have Starch, a psychotic android that was in the brig, from what I could tell from the storyline. You actually get different chunks of the story depending on which android you play as when you go into the bosses. It's actually kind of interesting. I like that concept. But apparently Starch, yeah, was a psychotic android that Cactus released during this whole scenario. She has a laser. Very highly accurate style weapon that basically never turns off. <laughs> it's just laser, just constant laser. And then the micro missiles, which unleashes a fury of it, homing insanity. It's actually kind of cool looking. Then we have Aubergine. Aubergine. I have no idea how to pronounce that properly. But I would assume... Well, no. Starch. Everything up until Starch was named after... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but Starch is an unlocked enemy. You un Or an unlocked android. You get Starch after you beat the first boss. You get Aubergine. Aubergine. After you beat the second boss. And hers is... Hilo which I'm assuming I've pronounced correctly, which is this cute little guy right here. And what it does is spin really fast, and you have to control with the fire button how far out he goes. And it's a very creative weapon. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it before. Um, hard to use, hard to master, but powerful. Especially once you power it up. Woo! It's powerful. And very useful because basically if, you could, if you're if you good at strafing around enemies, you could just put him in the enemy and leave him there. But again, that, like I said, it's a very hard weapon to master. And the secondary weapon is a point singularity gun. Basically it fires off and then sucks everything in and crushes it. Crazy, crazy weapon. Now there is a third unlocked android that just got released recently with the most recent boss. I have not unlocked that android yet because I cannot beat that boss, but I'll get to that in a minute. So I will pick Holly, my standard. And we get to our stage select. And we can see that a couple of these stages are grayed out, Venom, question mark, and Showdown. That's because these levels have not been released yet. Uh, we just recently got Convection in a previous update, and then Justice, the boss, came out in the last update. And yeah, as you can see, I don't have a score here because I cannot beat Justice. I've tried again and again and again and again and again. I cannot beat Justice. Yeah, I don't know why. I, I don't... I haven't seen the scoreboard for Justice yet, so I don't know if it's just me or if it actually is a pretty serious problem beating Justice. But yeah, anyway, so uh, we got all of these, and it gives you your score, what your last score was. And obviously, as you can see, I've played these games quite a bit. And uh, when you get the blue S, that's S+, plus, and this is just regular S, and then the standard A, B, C, and D. So let's get started. Let's, let's actually start at the tutorial, because the tutorial actually teaches you how to play the game. Of course, it teaches you how to play with Cactus, not Holly. I, I just love the little things about here, but uh, it gives you a little bit of the backstory, not much, 
but it teaches you how to play. So you move with the Wasad keys, you aim with the mouse, and you shoot. So think uh, Geometry... Wait, what was that game called? Geometry? No. Geometry? I forget. It was Geometry something or other. But you move with one hand and you fire with the other so you can be moving in one direction firing in a completely different direction and they're all both controlled independently so i can aim with the mouse we and move with the wasad keys and then i just fire with the mouse Woo! and then yeah uh, basically it's saying to collect energy to power up the primary weapon. Well, those are the white orbs that you can see just beneath the word two. I'd show you with the mouse, but the mouse goes away during the tutorial. So you pick those up and it powers up your primary weapon. Eventually. You can see that bar in the upper left hand corner. There it goes. It just powered up. And we can see that the bullets are bigger. You can tell I'm not actually very good at the assault rifle far too accurate it's far too much accuracy needed for that one all right so this is teaching about the secondary weapon so you well you could press space to switch weapons but i find it much much easier to right click uh but yes come on oh switch weapons to continue click and then you have to get close because she has a flamethrower very powerful little bastard and then you have a cooldown that you have to do for the secondary weapon all all secondary weapons have a cooldown. And then you can see that if you look around uh, the Android behind the tutorial screen right now, you can see that green bar that's around here. That will go down as the cool out or cooldown time runs through. And this is talking about the pickups that are released from some enemies. You get them every now and then. There are the, the summon friendly machine droids, which are these little round things that sit beside you and just fire where you're aiming vicious little things adds to firepower uh the blue one is for disabling robots it shuts them down for a short amount of time and then the third one the wing is increases movement and attack uh, attracts energy oh i never actually read that part it, i know it did it i just never read that part but uh i love that one because i feel that you're just far too slow when you move around in this game Wee. Let's see if we can get anything. Oh, yep, there we go. We just got firepower. Those are the two little things I was telling you about. And there we're shut down. Let's see if we can get the wings at any point. Come on. There you go. And I love the wings. They're just cute. I mean, they're holographic little wings. It's kind of cool. And then the battery. Okay, so there is no possible way to die in this game by enemy fire. You get knocked down, but you rapidly pound on the fire button to get back up. The only way you can lose is if your battery depletes. And you can pick up batteries that drop from enemies to recharge, which is what it's describing here. Uh, yeah, damage causes temporary knockdown, but the mission only fails when the battery runs out. Uh, and I mean, it sounds like it's not that difficult. I mean, you just, recharge your battery before it runs out and you can keep playing it doesn't sound that difficult but it is it is actually quite difficult and we can see our battery thing up at the top there it's charging now up top center Whee! and that thing that showed up at the bottom the bar there that's just telling you that you're really close to finishing is just telling you how many baddies left you have to kill Whee! and you get the really cool 3d animation and I, yeah, I think this is a great little game. And I can't click next. All right, so, well, I I guess that makes sense. You can't click next because they want you to go to Android selection because you didn't really get a choice in the tutorial. So let's play Holly and we'll play the Descent level, the first level. I will not be getting an S+. Plus. I might be knocked down. I probably won't die. But uh, it'll be because I'm trying to describe the game while I'm playing it. So this is my favorite little character, and you can see that the the weapons, the her weapon fire homes, and I just find that insanely useful. The only problem is you can't necessarily guarantee where it's going to home. So sometimes it'll actually be shooting at two enemies instead of focusing its power on one enemy, and that can become a serious problem when trying to do the S plus runs. Battery over here. 
Whoa. And as you can see right now, it's kind of like an arena style game where you just basically shoot everything that gets in your way, but you don't really go anywhere. And uh, whew, they they do mix it up. This isn't the standard fare. They do mix it up. There are some quite some, some quite unique levels that are in there. There's a couple that are you're actually traveling to do it. It's really it's my favorite level out of all of them. I just can't remember the name of them, name of it. So I might not be showing it in this video. Use my secondary weapon on that guy. Oh, and I just lost the S plus. That was that crashing glass noise that you heard. I just lost S plus because it took me too long in between kills. However, I did get an S. I didn't get my high score though. But uh, so this is the basic ending screen of course uh the android you used what your current score is if well obviously i cleared it your clear time time bonus score no total score your rank uh this is the combos that you got in the level this is how many enemies you killed and this is how many times you died or at least got knocked down uh, then we can go to the next level, we can replay level, we can go back to stage select, and this gives our high score, our personal high score, and our overall rank. So we can see I'm 147. There is nothing quite like the experience of watching this thing zip around and watching this number go down. There's nothing quite like it. I quite enjoy it. So let's go to Turbine. This is another arena style game, but it's a different style. I do like how it starts out with the elevator. Basically what it is, is you're on a ship, apparently a very, very large ship, and the robots on the ship have gone insane and started trying to kill the crew, which I think is like actual like flesh and blood crew. But, uh, yeah, so security is led by androids. Though Holly, I believe, is the librarian. So they all have different tasks. I think Holly's the librarian. Lemon is... Um, Lemon is the medic. Aberdeen, Aberdeen is, I believe, head of security. Starch is psychotic, as I mentioned. Uh, okay, I can't remember all of them. <laughs> I think Assault Android Cactus is just an Assault Android. So, yeah, it's, it's... You have to actually watch it, or you have to actually play as each Android to really get their story. It's actually kind of cool. I like it. I get a lot of replay value out of this game. Even as it stands, I get a lot of replay value out of the game because it's just so much fun to play. And it's quite enjoyable. Boom. I mean, I just got S plus on there. Okay, I, I admit that it level is kind of easy. I, I played it a lot. And But I didn't even get a high score. Now, S plus is only related to keeping combos and not getting knocked out. Uh, you can actually get significantly higher scores without getting S plus. No idea how. Haven't figured that out yet, but... Yeah, you know what? whatever. So let's go to stage select and let's take out a boss. We will look at Embryo because, uh, well, he's the first boss. And then we get our little introductory dialogue kind of thing, which is really cool. And it teaches you a little bit about the story. It's Holly the Bureaucrat. The Bureaucrat? I thought she was the librarian. Anyways, am I late with an inventory report? Maybe she's just... I don't know. I'm not 100%. But they all have, like, different personalities and really cool. Like, she's all kinds of shy. Whoa. Back the hell off of that. Uh, this is, yeah, a bullet hell style thing. Boom. Ah! Ow. And I just got knocked down. I didn't die or anything, but I just got knocked down. And you have to be quick. Or you have to, just, like, sit in between his guns and it it's difficult um oh and then we got bullet hell some more come on give me the wings thank you 
Whoa! I just like the wings because, like I said, I think you go too slow in this game by default. And you can hear that I'm actually getting pretty low on health. But it's regenerative health, so the health will actually come back. Yeah, so I have fun. I, I have a hell of a lot of fun with this game. You do have to keep moving. These missiles are nasty. No. Yeah, come on. Holy crap. <laughs> this guy is vicious. Ugh, he outruns my cannon, too. It's terrible. Oh, come on. Hit him. Hit him with the cannon. Because the cannon is crazy powerful. I cannot hit him with the cannon. Oh, and then there's that. Get too close and he stomps you. And I'm not good at the getting too close thing. And my battery's running low. There we go. Two more. Two more. Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him. Thank you. The cannon can stop. I s yeah. I mean, it's, it's a powerful attack, but uh, oh, it can be stopped, apparently. And I am not going to be... No, I don't have S-plus on this, and that's, that's okay. I mean, I got a C on this before. I'll be happy if I get a B. I'll be happy if I get a C at this point. I mean, seriously. Uh, yeah, I'm not getting a B on this. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, like I said, she's very shy, kind of, by the bookkeeper. That might be why I was thinking librarian. She's the bookkeeper. She's the accountant. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so. I beat him. Let's see how good I did. Probably not that good. Um, no. Pretty shit. Pretty shit. Uh, but the, it does feel really good watching that number go down. But that's okay. Uh, so, as you can see, I'm not ter terrible at this game. I'm actually pretty good at this game, in my personal opinion. Uh, I obviously can't do it very well because I'm trying to talk and record at the same time. But let's take a look at the new boss, Justice. <laughs> the... Tempor the placeholder boss named Justice. This guy is nasty. He's got a weapon. You have to keep moving. You cannot stand still. If you get hit with that weapon, you're done. And then they do this, and oh my... Like I said, you get hit with that weapon, you're going down. All right, now I'm going to take an opportunity to go after these guys, because they're nasty. You don't want to hit those beams, because they'll kill you. I should have grabbed the firepower while I was around. Uh, but the problem is... I can never actually hurt this thing enough to get it to drop a battery before I run out of juice because it keeps dropping those things. And you can see the battery's going down. Come on, come on, come on. No, not gonna happen. And it, just these bastards, and you have to kill those things or you get dragged away. You get dragged into the beam he's firing. And it's just... It is so hard. I got the battery once. Once. Ever. And it is so crazy, crazy difficult. Yeah, I'm not kidding when I see... Come on, firepower. Thank you. Oh, so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Trying to play the game. Kind of difficult. But like I said, you have to worry about these guys and those guys. And it's just so much to worry about. So much to have to fight. That it's it's almost impossible to focus on him and hit him. Ooh, I got a battery. I got a battery. Get the battery. Get the battery. Okay. I have not seen the second one. Those round things that you see there, those are like the he helos that I was mentioning. And they look nasty as all oh, crap. What the heck was that? Holy crap! Come on. Ugh. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna succeed at this. <laughs> Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Thank you. 
Alright, can I kill these guys? No. I cannot even hit them. Yeah, this is totally not happening. I got farther than I did before, that's cool. But you have to get his vitality down to the next level before you can um, get a new battery. And I can't do that, I just lost. Yeah. Uh, all right. But it, yeah, that, whoa, I hit the wrong button there. But that's pretty much Android Cactus. Um, Assault Android Cactus. Very, very good game. Very much worth the $15 for, for it on Steam. I highly recommend this game. I say go out and pick it up. I say rock on. And the usual malarkey at the end of the video. Like, favorite, subscribe, comment, and all the other things that I'm not 100% sure if actually helps me or not. And only the all-powerful Master Google knows and won't tell anybody because they don't want people gaming the system. I do understand. It's just annoying. And I will say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game and have fun. And enjoy the beautiful artwork. I, I, I quite enjoy the aesthetic.